So today we're going to try three templates from Event Studio. The first one is segmentation. So for those of you who never did AR before, segmentation is taking you out of the, the background. It's separating you from the background so you can change the background. So this uh, kind of like pink uh, glowy background was adding, added with the segmentation. And then we will do the try on template, which allows you to make clothes. Uh, you have a hoodie, a t-shirt and pants. Uh, and the third one, upper garment. Uh, is basically you uh, playing around with animation on a t-shirt. So when you're on the home page of the studio, um, you have the, you need to find the segmentation template and then open it. If at any time anyone is uh, confused, lost, or doesn't understand, please don't be shy and let me know. It, I mean, it's it, it's going to be very easy for you. I hope. When you're in the, in the template, uh, you see that you have on the, the left the segmentation controller that says edit me and that's something that is common in all of the templates on Lens Studio. You always have the dimension edit me thing so you just click on it and you see that you have on the right side a bunch of options and settings you can play around. If you didn't want to change the heart uh, template you can also Play around with the color, for example, and change the color very, very easily like this. Uh, and then uh, play around with the different settings and having like it more bright or um, less bright. Uh, and then you see here you have an uh, image texture, which is now the heart. And uh, that's uh, what we are going to change now. Depending on what you have, Dali or Midjourney or even like Wombo, I don't know what kind of uh, uh, AI you choose for working today, you can use anyone. I'm going to do Dal E. So let's say I want, I, I like crystals a lot, so I'm just going to type rhodochrosite texture. So rhodochrosite is uh, a gemstone. Um, and then, yeah, type whatever you like, uh, what kind of texture you want. Is it like a, a mountain? Is it like more like me, like a, a, a texture, texture like a, something uh, organic and physical? Uh, is, it, uh, is it a drawing, like a cat or a pizza? Like, I know I'm always quoting cats and pizza, but it's, it's always a... It's a good base. I'm not happy with what I have here. Uh, I'm going to go on Discord and try something on Mid Journey. Uh, so let's say um, I want, I'm going to type imagine and then prompt like the same prompt to see what I have. Docker site texture. Meanwhile, like. Is everyone having a, a good time? <laughs> is, there, is everyone uh, generating anything? Let me know if there is any, any problem. So this is like definitely very different from uh, what I had on that E. But still, to use as a background texture, I'm still more happy with what I have on, on that E, so I'm just going to save this one. Oh yeah, of course, I, I didn't mention stable diffusion, which is another uh, way of making AI, but it's more like a machine learning, and it's, it's a little bit more uh, advanced, I would say. <laughs> Yeah, you can uh, have another example that I uh, did earlier. Yeah, it can be like patterns. Uh, it can be like pretty much anything you like. But for, for a background, maybe something that is more like plain or that looks like something you can be taken a, a picture on if you want to be kind of like realistic. Mm -hmm. um, but you can go crazy as well. So once you have your image, uh, you just like drag and drop the image in uh, the resources of Lens Studio. 
and your segmentation controller is always is still open. Uh, and then uh, instead of the image texture, you're just going to click on it and select the image that you just uh, dragged and dropped and click OK. And that's magic. So you can see that it's kind of, it's, it, it's moving, it's animated. Um, I can uh, say that I don't want this to be scrolling by uh, unticking the, this. There is the tile density that you can play around. You can ask it for it not be tiled, so it's just like your image. All of the templates available are like super uh, easy to play around with the settings. And this is how you get creative by just like going around the settings. You have also the image blend mode, which is always interesting to play around. So if you want a bit of transparency uh, or if you want it to be multiply, it's the, the same uh, language that you have on Photoshop. So yeah, basically this is it. And you made like a lens with a background and that's it. <laughs> so the segmentation is like very basic and very like you can also Play around with the color as well. Like, don't hesitate to play with the, uh, with all of the the settings. So then uh, you go to file and you go to close to home. No, I don't want to save this. And then we're gonna try another template. So on the home page, you go to all templates, and then you scroll down and go to. Try on, which should be around here. Oh, there it is. So the try on template is like this with the the hoodie and the uh, and the pants, the pens. Then you click on it, and on this one we're gonna be more creative. So when you open the the, the templates you have you see that you have the same thing that I was telling about the segmentation one that the edit the edit mention and then you can take the I don't know how you say that cocher les cases <laughs> uh, tick the box thank you and then pick what kind of part of clothes you wanna you wanna play around or if you want everything there is also a fanny pack if I remember well uh, where is it here there is a fanny pack but I want to do uh, the, the hoodie like uh, that's the one I'm gonna pick same thing with the uh, segmentation I'm gonna pick my texture and drag it in the resources panel and um, something I really like about uh, Lens Studio is that you have access to an asset library so if you keep, click here, you go to the asset library and then you have various different uh, uh, categories. And the one that interests me here is materials. Um, and then if you, you have like velvet is fun because you can play around the different uh, texture and it's, it's, it's cool, it looks cool. Um, but then when you go down, you have a bunch of uh, fabric which is cool to play uh, around, especially with because we're making a, a, a try-on with it, which is a, a close. Um, so to me today, I'm going to pick, a, let's say, a cotton fabric. And then you import it. And you can pick any, any material you like. And then I'm going to close this because I don't, need, I don't need it anymore. And in the resource panel, you have your fabric that is now available here. So when you click on it, um, if you go a little bit down, you can you can change um, the color, you can change the texture, and that's what in interested interests us here. Uh, so if I click on base texture, and I pick my uh, AI generated assets, and I add it here, it's um, it's added to the material. Is it is, is everyone? Uh, following for now. And then uh, when I go back to my um, outfit, um, I have the hoodie and then I click here and I change to the fabric that I just made. 
and hopefully it's working. It's not. Why? Okay. Does anyone know why it's not working? Oh! Thank you. <laughs> I'm a professional, <laughs> you can see. <laughs> so yeah, it's working. Yeah. Well, not embarrassing. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I have my hoodie that is working. Um, and then if you want to add more, like if I want to add a pants, for example, um, I can pick and add like, uh, like the shorts, let's say, and then add like the cotton fabric as well. Uh, but I don't want the, the hoodie and uh, the t-shirt is fine. And then the leggings, I don't like the leggings. So now I have like an outfit that was made with like uh, my polka dot texture. Is it, I feel like everyone is following more than I am <laughs> right now. Okay, so that was the second one. Again, that you can play around with the different fabrics uh, and the different outfits, the rendering. Uh, you can um, you can scale the, the the size of the of the texture um, and then uh, rotate like it's again. Like play around the settings uh, and the colors. It's not right. This is better. Like again, a lot of experimenting. And the last one, um, so close to home. No, I don't want to save. And then the last one. But again, I encourage you to uh, go around all of the templates and uh, edit everything you find and just like play around with your own graphics. Uh, and so the last one is the upper. That's the one. So the upper garment. It's really cool as well. And we're playing around with uh, plain images, but you can also play around with like PNGs. Um, and like GIFs as well. That's something I really like in uh, in M Studio is that you can import GIFs, and uh, the file size limit is pretty is pretty big. What what is the size limit again? It's like eight, which is you can do a lot of things with eight megabytes. So uh, I'm gonna pick like. A model like I can actually see the body. So this is already like a fun template uh, with a bunch of animations. Uh, you can uh, put some words on on the on the T-shirt. Um, you can add like a, a three D uh, animated uh, objects. Um, again, like there is a bunch of stuff you can edit. Um, and as it says, uh, like in Alice in Wonderland, uh, edit me. When you click on here, you can also uh, change the image texture. So you can see here is a cat animated texture. That's the texture we see here. Uh, so again, you can add like a, a GIF if you like. Uh, I'm just going to keep going with this polka dot uh, texture added in my resource panel. And then um, add it instead. And there is still an animation going on, uh, but again, you can play around with the with the different settings. Um, with the if you want this to fit, um, and then again, go to the asset library if you want to change the, um, the fabrics. Let's, let's do this one instead. And then I add my texture 
To be honest, I have no idea if this is going to work. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Oh yeah, and that's the, the animation. Um, you can um, uh, play around with as well. Uh, and use different play, uh, blend modes. Um, let's see. So I don't want anything. Okay. So when you uh, when you select uh, the image, it's the the animation that we saw on top, um, and you can deactivate this. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it for the, the templates. You can edit that. Uh, like I, I added the, the texture, like the, the plane here, but you can add like a, it makes sense to add like a, a, a GIF or an animation. But yeah, you can pretty much edit everything. Um, and now it's disabled, but um, if I want to, I want to sort of play around with the, the alpha uh, and yeah, the blend mode and everything. But we can make a test if you want to. Like, okay, I have a GIF that has nothing to do with, but. Okay. There we go. So yeah, I added the, the GIF here, and if I disable the, the pattern... It's not working, okay. <laughs> I'm just going to put it in normal. And then you have your animation that works. But yeah, you want to find like a texture that fits or something that makes sense but it's it's still cool to have like a um, animated shirt with like any kind of gif and then again you can play around the the different uh, settings even this looks cool um yeah and then if you want to add text you can still add text And that's that's it. I have a last slide. Uh, slide. I have an end slide uh, featuring my gorgeous cat. It's very end slide. Here we go. Mm -hmm.